On this edition of Terriers Take 5, can't touch this, the field hockey team dances to their best start in program history. Running against the mind, what exactly goes through a Terrier athlete's head during a long cross-country run, and history in hockey. The Terriers hire the first woman to a full-time position on a men's ice hockey staff. Watch out for flying pucks and nuggets of information. Terriers Take 5 starts right now. The Terriers score! Hello all and welcome to Terriers Take 5. I'm Brian Moore. Imagine you had the chance to rewrite history. What would you change? For the field hockey team, the answer is simple. Perfection right from the start. The ninth ranked field hockey team has started 7-0 for the first time in program history with five of those wins coming at home at New Balance Field. It's been pretty remarkable uh, starting off the year this well. We've been building up to this for a long time now. I think we started freshman year and really trying to up it up every year and it's been very successful this year so it's really cool to see that all our hard work uh, has come to actually some success so that's good. The Terriers have won in a multitude of ways including the first five games winning by a single goal. The Terriers also knocked off Northeastern 2-1 to one in overtime. The last two games have been dominant performances by the Terriers shutting out UC Davis 5 to nothing before setting another program record against Patriot League foe Colgate scoring nine times in the second half in a 9-0 shutout of the Raiders. BU has shared the scoring load with five different Terriers, recording three goals or more while outscoring their opponents 26-7 during this unbeaten streak. Cammie Jensen has been the backbone in the net, recording a microscopic 1.04 goals against average through the first seven games while making 24 saves. BU will look to continue their streak at Lafayette before returning home to take on UConn Sunday, September 25th. The Terrier cross-country teams open their fall campaign with the men placing first at the Nassany Invitational, led by freshman Paul Luvano taking home the individual title in his Terrier debut. The women's team finished third. During a long race, it's always interesting how athletes can keep their focus. What is it they think about? How do they concentrate just on the race with all the peripheral distractions? Well, there's only one way to find out. So we have this thing on our team where we think about a red thread that connects all of us. So if there's someone ahead of you on your team, you look at the back of their jersey and picture a red thread connecting you to your teammate and you try to keep the red thread as short as possible to stay with them because we run through the woods a lot. Um, there are some aggressive squirrels out there. During a race, a squirrel just came running out of the woods as I was right in front of me and I had to stutter step or so as I would have stepped on it. There are women's players and women's coaches in college hockey, but there has never been a female full-time employee on a men's ice hockey team, until now. Introducing the new Director of Hockey Operations for BU Men's Ice Hockey, Brittany Miller. It's funny, it, it didn't really um, sink in until the, the information was released that I was hired as the director. And once I saw the director of player safety of the NHL and the women's commissioner of the CWHL uh, tweet about it, that's when I finally was like, this is a bigger deal than just me being hired from manager to director of hockey operations. It definitely shows that women are going to play a bigger role in um, managerial standpoints in, in hockey. I don't know if I've met anybody who cares more about Boston University and, and Boston University hockey, so she was the perfect hire. I had the chance to work with her when she was in the manager's role and we worked closely on some administrative issues and she's certainly somebody who has uh, really a high ceiling in terms of her potential. So when this job came open, David Quinn and I talked about it and uh, quite frankly there was only one name that was considered and she's, she's the clear choice for the job and I think her hire will pay dividends on the ice for us. Brittany and the Terrier men's ice hockey team will open up preseason play against Prince Edward Island on Saturday, October 1st at Aganis Arena. But that will just about do it for another edition of Terriers Take 5. You give us five minutes, we'll give you BU Athletics. 
For all news BU, check out the Athletics website, echoterriers.com. For producer Leo Parre and our entire crew, I'm Brian Moore saying, let's go BU.